This Tales Landy and Gardens and Elysian Siemens double feature is sponsored by 15.ai, natural TTS with minimal viable data. And by Expedia.com. Don't just travel, travel right. Video number one, Skype sound effects. <laughs> Video number two, let's talk with Maxine, Devious Leaks Trend. Take it away, Maxine. Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk. First of all, I want to thank a number of Angelus Galaxy members for making this tale Slandian Gardens and Elysian Siemens double feature as well as a couple sponsors, which are Expedia.com and 15.ai. Remember, the staff at Tail Slandian Gardens headquarters in Chaseville, and Elysian Siemens headquarters in Edgemead. Do not own any furry phantom, but for affinity does on behalf of Viacom CBS. All right, let's talk about the illegal trend on TikTok called devious licks. Let's talk about it. We have people asking questions about it, and I'll answer them. Silt C Wolf asks, "What are devious licks? Devious licks, also known as diabolical licks, dastardly licks, or nefarious licks, are a viral 2021 TikTok trend in which American students post videos of themselves stealing or." in some cases, merely pretending to, vandalizing, or showing off items they stole primarily from their schools, typically from bathrooms. The trend has resulted in the arrests of many students across the United States. It also allegedly spread to some schools in Canada and Latin America. Remember Raven Fernandez, Kenward Perkins, Rebecca Ohm, Eloise Wilson, and other troublemakers? They did that trend once. Rolani Ann Beaver asks, when did that dangerous trend start? The trend originated on September 1, 2021, after TikTok user Jug4 Elias posted a video showing a box of disposable masks they claim to have stolen from school, with the caption a month into school. Devious Lick Similar videos with the term Devious Lick soon flooded the platform, with students stealing items from restrooms, such as soap and paper towel dispensers, toilet paper roll shields, urinals, sinks, mirrors, and floor and ceiling tiles. Eventually, students allegedly began stealing items outside of the restrooms, including exit signs, telephones, smart boards, and microscopes. The videos were typically accompanied by a sped-up version of Lil B's Ski Ski Based God. The video's captions often modify the name of the trend with synonymous adjectives, such as mischievous or diabolical licks, etc. Various schools began taking action against the trend, warning students of serious school consequences and arrests. More serious vandalism attributed to the trend involved broken mirrors and light fixtures, as reported in the Northeast Independent School District in San Antonio, Texas. In Polk County, Florida, three students were arrested from two high schools, as well as one 15-year-old who was arrested for damaging and stealing soap dispensers at Bardo High School. In Boone County, Kentucky, eight students were charged over the trend, with four receiving theft and four receiving vandalism charges. In Stafford County, Virginia, a student from Stafford Senior High School was charged for vandalizing a park bathroom near the school. In Mojave County, Arizona, a 15-year-old was arrested for stealing a school toilet paper dispenser. Sonic the Hedgehog asks, what is the public response to that trend? In addition to schools and police warning students against the trend, various media commentators condemned the trend. Daily Show host Trevor Noah joked that, when the U.S. government said you can't trust TikTok because it's a Chinese plot, I won't lie. I didn't believe it. But now I'm starting to see it. Because China's figured it out, you don't need to fight this country, you just need to convince Americans to go viral and they'll just destroy themselves. However, Brock Kolyar of Curb criticized what he called grown-up hysteria by school administrators, internet moralists, and even a U.S. senator who willfully misunderstand and forget what it's like to be a teen and what you often end up doing when you're told not to do something. He confirmed that three separate videos of supposed devious licks were, in fact, all staged, with one video of a student supposedly stealing a microscope actually being of a microscope the student owned at home. Miles Tails Prower asks, are there any angelic yields? After the media backlash and crackdown on devious licks, some TikTok users began participating in a counter trend known as angelic yields, where users anonymously donated items to their schools, such as bottles of soap and rolls of toilet paper typically to replace whatever had been stolen during a devious lick, or to hide a gift for someone to find, 
often in the form of a small amount of cash. Angelic yields, in contrast to devious licks, have been generally positively received by the communities affected. Officer Lucy Nickel asks, is there a platform response? TikTok began removing videos featuring the trend, with the original video being removed on September 13th. The trend was banned by TikTok on September 15th for violating TikTok's community guidelines against illegal activities, by which time the devious hashtag had over 235 million views. Searching for related hashtags results in a message about TikTok's community guidelines. Remember the day it happened? Many arrests made, lawsuits filed, for affinity, DeviantArt, and other social media sites take down those devious like pictures, leading to warnings, suspensions, and bans of those accounts. Well, that's it, and that's all. Don't forget to subscribe to Tales Landian Gardens and Elysian Siemens, hit that bell, and comment on why devious licks are illegal in your country. If you have questions, let me know. Furry fandom belongs to Fur Affinity and Viacom CBS, and you know that. Remember, don't do any devious lick challenges, or you will end up shot, executed, arrested, and grounded like Raven, Kenward, Rebecca, Eloise, Fender, the Grunt Brothers, Gerard, Richard, Frederick, Brevard, Broward, Malmautu, Malena, and Sabina. And now to Microsoft Sam with the Bible verse of the day. Sam? Microsoft Sam's Bible verse of the day reads, Psalm chapter 34 verse 4, I sought the Lord, and he answered me, he delivered me from all my fears.